Good evening once again whiskey fans and welcome back to Stuart the Bald Whiskey Reviewer Hello um, Whiskey Reviews um, This is whiskey review number, uh, I think it's number 6 um, Could be number 7, I'm, actually, I'm already losing count um, And we are going to be reviewing a whiskey I'm not overly familiar with this week um, It is, this bad boy here, it's Dalwhinnie 15 years old single malt. Um, it's a Highland single malt, uh, bottled at 43%, uh, 15 years old. It's the oldest malt I have reviewed so far, I think. Um, now, again, I haven't done too much in the way of research, although what I do know is, as anytime anyone mentions Dalpani, they will always say, it's the highest in terms of height, not in terms of, you know, um, it's the highest distillery in Scotland. Um, now, this uh, was on sale. I tend to review whiskies that I pick up at a reasonable price, um, and this is one of them. So, without too much further ado, let's have a look at it and pour a wee dram. Healthy wee number here. Now, first of all, let's look at the colour. Kind of goldish, very clear. It doesn't say on the bottle that this is non chill filtered, so I am going to assume there is at least some chill filtration going on here. Let me have a look. It is a nice, nice colour. So, we'll stick it on the nose. There's a little bit of spike in this, just a little, not too much, um, but even on the third sniff, even on the third belt in, um, there is a little bit. Oh yeah, there's a lot of that time. Um, but it's sweet. There's a distinctly honeyed sweetness to this one. But in the background, there is a tiny little bit of peat, a tiny little bit of smoke, but overwhelmingly this, this is a honey, this is a honey drink. There is something else in there and I'm struggling to pick it out. There's honey, there's smoke, and there's something else in there I just can't quite put my finger on it. So, um, Let's see what the taste gives away. Let's uh, take a sip. Uh, like I said, 43%, so... Slightly hot. Not too bad. Slightly hot but sweet. And as you'll know, if you've watched any of these reviews, I do like my sweet whiskies. And this really hits the spot. This is quite, it's hot but smooth. Um, nice long lingering finish as well. There's a, there, there's a bit of smoke in the finish. That's where the smoke and the, the smoke on the nose, you don't get straight away. You get a kind of slightly mouth watering sweetness. When you when you first drink it, then as you swallow, it's on the finish you get the smoke. And the first taste is honey. It's very very honeyed. Still trying to work out what the other taste is. Part of me wants to say kind of pineapple, but I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. So what we'll do, as always, is we will add a wee splash of water. Not too much again. I mean, at 43%, probably doesn't need that much water just to kind of open it up and calm it down a little. 
and with that little touch of water I don't know if you can see that in the camera it's still pretty much crystal clear so again that gives us the indication that it's been chill filtered and I only know is that's really that's opened up the sweetness and it is honey but it's it's not just your normal runny honey it's more like kind of honeycomb it's really nice I really like this actually it is really sweet there is still that there is a fruit in the background that I can't quite put my finger on this is where my shockingly poor palate comes into play unfortunately the, the water has has, has hidden the smoke a little bit more but it's really emphasised the sweetness so really honeyed on the nose with some kind of fruit in there on the palate that reduced strength, still really sweet, ridiculously easy to drink. You could get yourself into trouble with this whiskey really easily. You could just drink this until there's there's none left. Um, again, really honeyed on the entry, quite mouth watering. Then it dries slightly. There's still a hint of smoke on the finish. As you would expect, with a touch of water, the finish isn't quite as long. But what I really want to do is see if I can work out what that fruit is. It's not, it's not lemons. It's not limes. It is... For me anyway, it is maybe a little hint of pineapple. Kind of honeyed, candied, it's a candied fruit, it's, maybe it's, it's a kind of candied pineapple. Ah, oh, slips down so nice, it's so easy. Again, little trace of smoke in the back. Mouth watering as it goes in, really sweet. And that little hint of smoke. Oh, that's lovely. I really like this. Um, I'd say it's very much a before dinner drink. I think after, it is, it is sweet on its own, but if you had this after a dessert, you'd lose it. Um, this, again, is a before dinner dram. It's or or it's again. I think the last couple of um, uh, blends that I tried, the Grant's ones, I said this is a kind of any time dram, and this is very much the same. I don't think I would have this as an everyday dram. I think it's too nice for that. I think this is maybe your maybe your Saturday night, your Friday night, or Saturday night after a hard week. Sitting down, good book, before dinner, um, or or much, much later after dinner. Not not an after dinner drink, but you know, you've had your dinner maybe seven o'clock, it's maybe come ten, you fancy a dram, you're sitting there with a nice book. You could do much, much worse than this. It's not it's not gonna make your taste buds explode, but it is so easy to drink. Honey, candied fruit, candied citrusy, yeah, no, I keep coming back to pineapple. I don't think pineapple was the actual answer, but that's what my brain keeps telling me today. Marks out of ten, good eight and a half anyway, eight and three quarters, you know what, maybe eight and four fifths, let's go imperial. 
Lovely whiskey. I really like this. Um, this is the first bottle of this I've ever had. You can rest assured it won't be the last. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a, a reasonably priced, I think I paid 27 quid for a bottle of this, which is, what, about 35, 40 dollars, euros, whatever. Um, you can't go wrong. So anyway, thanks for watching. Got a treat coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, maybe it's going to be a wee bit longer, but I've got a bottle in the cupboard of my favourite whiskey, my all-time favourite. So um, I've been putting it off and putting it off. My birthday's coming up soon, so I'm going to try and hold back until uh, my birthday, so I'll give myself a little treat. But um, next week. We have another single malt, which I've also got in the cupboard, um, which is one I know I like-ish, I think. I've only ever had it once, uh, but it seems okay. So, Dalhoney, 15 years old, easy to drink, honeyed, slightly smoky. You know what? Go out and try it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers!